Hi, I'm PGA professional Cody Barton, and today we're going to talk a little bit about your chipping. I've got lots of drills that I enjoy working with my students on uh, when it comes to chipping, but here's one of my favorite. I, I love to work on it not only in their game, but in mine as well. The next time you're out to the range, go ahead and get yourself set, or, or better yet, around the practice screen. Go ahead and get yourself set and uh, pay close attention to your setup for chipping. It could just as easily be called off green putting as it is chipping. When I get set, my arms and my club shaft create the lowercase version of the letter Y. Once I am set and measured to the golf ball, I'll review that in just a second. Once we are measured, we go ahead and set the club in motion and we keep the Y intact. In other words, let's set it up one more time and show you what we're specifically looking for. I'm going to get my feet a little closer together so that I don't make a big golf swing. It's, it's an insurance policy against making too much motion. I'm going to favor my lead leg with maybe 80% of my weight on my left foot at the moment. And I'm going to let the handle of the golf club lie closer to my left leg than my right leg. A lot of times I have students who set up to hit a chip shot and their hands are actually behind the golf ball or behind the club head at a dress and nothing good can come of that, especially in long grass. So again, here is the setup. The hands are forward and when we measure to the golf ball, we want to make sure that we haven't gotten so close to our business that our arms are buckled or so far away that we're above the golf ball to begin with. We want to make sure that we let the arms hang, let the club's weight stretch our arms out, and then we want to sole the club right on the ground. Create the letter Y and maintain that Y through the motion. It's not a big golf swing. It doesn't have a lot of moving parts, but the setup is very, very important. There's my letter Y, and there's my chip. So again, in, in conclusion, when you get set up to hit this golf shot, it's 80% set up. The, the execution is very easy, really, uh, once you understand how to set it up. Ball forward or slightly, slightly forward of center. I'm going to measure my distance to the ball correctly. I'm going to lean to my left. And when I set the club in motion, I'm going to do so without using a lot of hands and wrists. I don't want a, a scooping action. Simply measure and go. So I hope that helps you the next time you're out to work on your chipping game. I, I, I really think it will. There's lots of great chipping drills, but I found a lot of success using that simple lowercase version of the letter Y. Hope it helps you. Best of luck.